Well? Well, how is it? I should add something. What should I add? Add a smile. <laughs> Are you worried? Well, of course I'm worried. I want to like and... You will definitely like it. Absolutely. Just don't think about the bad. By the way, Dad, is it true that we are going to be demolished, our portal? Yes, it seems to be true. There's a picket today. There's no time to go. Well, it seems. That seems to be it. Yes. However, nothing needs to be added anymore. I'm telling you, everything is excellent. Okay, you go ahead, let's pack, otherwise you'll be late. Get out of here, build on the outskirts. You will have new modern apartments. What else do you need? No need for your cheap crown. And Wednesday. Listen, people. We are building good for housing. Yes, everyone is lying. You only. We believe. Well, what to talk to them? What should I say to them? They are stubborn and do not want to move. Dad, you can understand them too. They have lived in this area all their lives. Come on, what are you saying? A fish is always looking for where it is deeper, and a person is looking for where it is better. We will also move into luxury apartments with spacious corridors, high ceilings. Okay, that's it. We looked at what was going on here. Let's go. It's useless to talk to them, Roman Mihailovich. Pavel. Now, Lek. May you die, Herod. Fie on you. Don't tell me. Go ahead. Get out, or we'll show you now. The devil knows what. We have to submit documents soon, there are so many unresolved issues. It is necessary to carry out explanatory work with the population. It is necessary, but who will do it? Don't look at me, they'll stone me there. Okay, I'll think about who to send. What is it? Is it the heart again? Yes, something stings. How much? Well, so so. Nothing. Is there a cure? There are medicines, there is nothing to drink. So, wait, I'll go get it now. Come on. Oh, I'm so worried anyway, my hands are even shaking a little. Irina, Irisha, please help me. No, don't make it up. Take the cake and run. Everything will be fine. Do you believe? Come on. My daughter, I love you. And you, Tash. Happily. I'm coming, so. I'm sorry, for God's sake, I didn't mean to. What have you done? I'm telling you, well, on purpose, let me, let me pay. How much does it cost? Not at all. This is the only cake. There is no such thing anymore. Well, then I'm sorry. I can't help you. Thank you for at least apologizing. Change is not needed. Thank you. Sorry again. Bear. Mom, well. Well, somehow easier. Take it easy, take it easy. Thank you. Dad, you can see a doctor. It's not worth it. I don't understand. Something has often begun to find this heart lately. Moreover, then you need to go to the clinic for examination. Tell me, has it been lately since the very moment when a young mistress appeared in your life? What's her name, Natasha? Dad, I think you're playing with fire. If mom finds out, she will. I decided to break up with my mom. What? Son, 
I haven't experienced anything for a long time. No feelings for mom. None at all. I want to feel like a man. I want to fly. But I don't have enough air, I'm suffocating. I don't know, dad, for me. I think you're being ugly. It's Natasha who asks you at the first opportunity and mom won't let you back in. That's it. I've said it all. I decided so. I'll do what I think is necessary. Come on, let's go. My daughter. Peekaboo. <laughs> well, don't worry, it is. You will have time to show your culinary skills a hundred times before Seriosa. Do you hear? I just tried so hard and... Well. Well, eh. You're going to be fine. Everything is ahead, believe me. Katie Usha, don't worry so much. Cakes. Everything will be fine. Thank you very much. Please. Well, okay, a cake is a cake. It's even for the best. Probably. Washed your hands. Sit down. Alachka, we need to talk. About what? About us. Here. Me. In general, you and I have become strangers to each other for a long time. And the families, as you can see, are gone. The boys, they have grown up, they have their own life. I don't understand. Why did you start this stupid conversation? And we have to get divorced. What does it mean to get divorced? You and I have lived together for more than a quarter of a century. Are you going to leave me? Another woman appeared. And that's not the point. That's not the point. You've got yourself a mistress and that's not the point. <laughs> Are you tired of your old wife? I just wanted a young body. Yes, what kind of bastards you guys are. I won't give you a divorce. No one will ask you. Actually, I wanted to solve this issue in a good way. But in a good way, as you can see, it does not work. So you decided that I would thank you for wanting to leave me, right? No, I am. Roma. Romachka, what's the matter with you? Well, what are you? I just need your money. Have you thought about it? She'll leave you at the first opportunity. Hello. Well, well, don't do anything stupid. You and I have been through so much together. Alla, listen, and the issue is resolved. I already have. Come to your senses. Come to your senses. You'll regret it. It's better this way. I'm sorry. I won't forgive you. You've trampled on my whole life. Just took it and trampled it. You won't have a life with your whore.
Come on. Beautiful house. Thank you. Serioza. What if your parents don't like me? Well, they probably want a girl from your circle for you. Also, the son of a banker. Listen, I have wonderful parents. They'll like you. All right. All right? Yeah. Come on. How about another time? We'll go another time. All right. Very tasty cake, Katenka. <laughs> I can't believe that your parents are creating this. Thank you, yes. Our cakes are in great demand. Have you thought about expanding? Well, not yet. We're in limbo right now. It's just that a lot of construction is unfolding not far from the confectionery and, perhaps, our store will be demolished. And we'll have to look for another place. I understand. Yes, because the new building will require additional cash injections. But we have to get compensation for the demolition of the old store. But I don't worry about you, maybe a new place. Everything is new, everything is for the better. Seriozenka. Make some tea, please. Yes, good. How about I help you? Come on. Yeah. There. To the left. Is everything okay? I'm just worried. You know, it seems to me that your mother looked at me in a strange way. Well, they liked something. Really? Listen, do you want to ask them yourself? Well, I'm not kidding. Well, Serioza. What? They didn't like it. They liked it. Well, how do you like it? Katia. An ordinary girl. Cute, beige. What are you exactly? The usual one. What did Serioza not find? But it's his choice. Bad choice. He doesn't need a wife like that. If my son likes Katia, then let them meet. <laughs> No way. I will find him a worthy bride. <laughs> oh, how delicious it smells. I'm the hungriest man on earth. Where are the women who cook so deliciously? Okay, stop, stop, stop. Hands first. My hands, then at the table. Then tell me if it's delicious or not. Agreed. Only honestly. Almost there. Ready. Harem. What? How beautiful you are. So, I'll do it. Well? Very tasty. Really? Yes, of course, I am not an expert on cabbage rolls but I will find out how difficult it is to do. And considering your position, you're a double hero. Listen, maybe we can have dinner at the restaurant tomorrow? Didn't you like them? You really liked the cabbage rolls. Simple. I'm just worried about you and I want to reduce your workload. So, 
pregnant is not sick, and in general, I feel great. And all the more I like to take care of you, feed you. Eat it. All right. Pash. Is everything okay at work? Everything is fine at work. But my father decided to divorce my mother. What do you mean? He has a young mistress now. What about mom? Thank you. Natasha, let's drink to us. Today is a very important day and I want us to remember it for sure. You're talking in riddles, I don't understand anything. I just want to intrigue you a little. You did it. <laughs> Me. Here. Natasha, marry me. You're married. Well, I've already filed for divorce. So what? Do you agree to marry me? I need to think, Rom. Well, yes, of course. For you. So don't be offended. Thank you very much. I don't even know if I could have done it alone. Do you think they'll like it? I'm sure he'll like it. Pash. How will your mom cope? Oh, I don't know. How not to cope? Of course, it's very difficult for her now. But neither my brother nor I could do anything about it. If the father has something in his head, no one will stop him. Well, yes. What? Let's go in. Do you want to? Well, let's go. Did you like it too? What, we take it? Yes. Girl, can I have you? Can I tell you something? We liked this stroller. Can I see if there's anything from the showcase? Now we will check the stock availability. Thank you. And let's let them in here. We won't let you in. Come on, turn around from there. So, disperse. Everything is legal with us. You're interfering with my work. What kind of job do you have messing around at other people's houses? Well, get out of here. What do you have to do with me? Me. For an hour I said, I'm doing it. I'm just working. So if you are a simple worker, on the contrary, you should be for us. Of course. So you understand what you will not achieve. You've decided everything for you up there a long time ago. Hello, yes, Seriosa, hello. Won't you come? And why? You wanted to support us. A. Eh? All right. Okay, come on. Is something wrong, Katyusha? No, nothing. What did you say, Kat? She said she was sorry I wasn't coming. 
Lana should understand you. Well, yes. How are you feeling? Would you be so kind as to bring me a first aid kit and water, please? All right. Hello, nice. Hi there. How are you? And Lisa? Wow. Us? We're nothing either. Serioza, by the way. Isn't it time for us to meet and talk seriously about children? From that moment on, Roman and Natalia are husband and wife. They will go through life together, hand in hand. Dear relatives and guests, you can congratulate the young. This is for you. Congratulations. Some brief state of mind. As if we betrayed our mother. She will be, it's not for nothing that we allowed all this to be done. Do you think we would have changed anything? What are we going to call it now? She's almost the same age. Do you call her Aunt Natasha? Let's go. Come on, congratulations. Thank you, yes, thank you. My son. Congratulations. Well, now already. So, what are you doing here? Have you come to admire your new wife? Well, have you admired it? After all, we have solved all the issues with you. I hate it. I curse you and all your offspring. You won't be happy from now on. That's what. Go away, go away. Dad. Mom. I'm lying. I don't want to see you anymore. Hello. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, I am. I'm sorry. Pash. What is it? I don't know. Gal. Stomach. Has it started? I don't know. And you're sorry, we'll go. Wait a minute, Tolia, take me to the hospital. All right, come on, come on. Carefully, Pasha, and be sure to call me back. All right. Guest, I ask, we ask all of you, please come in. Come on, sit down. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. It's fine. So, come on, be careful only. Oh, that's it, just a little bit. That's it, that's it. How are you holding up? It hurts a little bit. Well, be patient. Tolia, let's go quickly, but carefully. That's it, my good one. We're not going anywhere. Ours are working, they are going to put our houses on the ground. We will not allow our houses and yards to be destroyed. Yes, they don't even have documents. Here you have it. Where are your documents? Show me. Show your documents, on the basis of which you are going to work here by water. Come with me. Pasha, I'm scared. Don't worry. Everything's going to be fine, do you hear? I love you. Hey, everything will be fine. You can't go any further. Don't worry, everything will be fine.
stronger. Come on again. Come on, push. Come on, honey, push. Don't give it. Come on harder. Push. Push. More. What? Resuscitators urgently. Well? It's hard for me to tell you this, but... Your wife... She's dead. How? What happened? She turned out to have a weak heart. And the baby? Can I go to her? Yes, of course. Have a nice day. That's it. Thanks. It's crooked. Yes. See you soon. I'll definitely see you. Goodbye. Listen, Roma, you don't screw up today. We'll see, of course. Yes. Ladaka, take him away. Everything, everything is going well. Hey, that's it, day, we will go. Tell you what, I can't get through to Pashka in any way, Tsarevich. You find out how he's doing and let me know. All right? All right. That's it, we're going. Good luck to everyone. For now. Goodbye. For now. Let's go. Bunny, I'll dance. I'm under now. IRA, IRA. Read it. Sign it. I didn't break anything and I'm not going to sign. Well, then I'll have to put you in a cell. Understand your rights. Okay, if I sign, can I be free? We'll think about what to do with you next. Well, can I at least call? Call, call.
Hello, Seriosa, hi. Yes, yes, I'm on my way, come on, mom. Mom, don't go. Katya again. Yes, she was detained, she's the police. That's fine. With this girl, you will never have a clean reputation. You are the son of a banker. This banker's mom should have a clean reputation, not his son's. Please, you're already raising your voice to a sick mother. Mom. Where are you leaving from? Leaving me alone. Mom, you're feeling better already. You're already walking, not lying in bed. It is necessary not to strain you. I have a high fever, by the way. Okay, I'll be back as soon as possible. And do your best. Katia. Katia. I don't like that you are actively at these rallies now. You won't change anything anyway. Seriosa, well, I told you that we are fighting for our rights. And if everyone thinks as you say. Katia, in this life, those who have money have rights. I ask you not to set foot on these rallies and pickets anymore. Agreed? Agreed. Thank you. Are you sure you won't come in? No, I promised my mom I'd come home right away. Please. I'll call you. Well, well, what are you doing that they took you to the police? Yes, I didn't do anything criminal, mom. We just didn't let the equipment on the construction site. Oh, I feel like we won't be able to defend our block. Moreover, the police have already been connected. It's sad. So that's it. I'm going to be late today. What happened? Well, we ordered a lot of bags of flour, and they need to be stored in one place. I dismantled part of the pantry, but there was still a corner left. All right. I'll call you as soon as you go home. Agreed? Agreed, agreed. And you watch me. Be careful. A fighter for justice. Understand. Maybe eclairs. Drink tea. Hash, why are you sitting here? We've all been looking for you. Dan Gully is dead. During childbirth, the heart could not stand it.
Shall we go home? You're going to get so cold here. I can't, yes. Everything reminds me of Gala there. I just can't go in there. Pour some more. Hello, Mom. You're ungrateful. How could you go to this wedding? I raised you, gave you all my love, and you didn't even bother to come to me and support me. Okay, I'll try to come. All right. What? I have to go to my mother. That is, it is necessary. Go. Pour some more. I'll take you home first. No, I don't want to go home. Pash, haven't you heard? Pour it for me, I'm telling you. I think you've had enough. Let's not let you decide what's enough for me and what's not. Pour it, he said. And in fact, we are already closing. Well, don't you want me to pour myself? Pash, 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 pash. It started. What happened there? The client is ready. Don't you understand? Let me pour it. I'm talking. Pash, you. Pasha, Pasha, calm down. I'm talking. Dasha, calm down. Calm down. I just asked me on. Guys, guys, guys. It's okay, we're leaving. You already said we're closed. Okay, guys, it's okay. Come on, Pash. I'm sorry. I finally came. Where have you been for so long? You know I'm going crazy here. What are you, really? You've already danced at daddy's wedding, haven't you? Satisfied? The mother is going crazy here. He doesn't care. In general, nobody cares. As if not for me in this world. And what else? And what? Cats will pour out. Mouse tears. And I'm fine. In general. Galia died. What? How? What happened? Premature birth, something went wrong. This is retribution. This is retribution. This is retribution. All the Alexeves and their heirs are entering early. What? Just everything? That's it. Listen, Mom. When is it my turn? What are you? What are you, a day? What are you? You're my son. Do you hear? You're my son. Just us. Only mine.
Hello, Irish. I'm already out, I'll be home soon. I kiss you too. Eh. Hey, man. Hello. Yes, Pash. What are you? Where? I'll be there soon. What kind of night is this? Mom, I'm gone. Wait a minute. I thought you'd back off. No. What? Is he breathing at all? He seems to be breathing. I don't know. Did you call an ambulance? Called. I'll call the cops. Come on. Let's get out of here. Well, okay. Damn. What are you doing? Do I have to settle down from time to time? What? Are you crazy? They're going to call the cops now. Dan, you can't do that. What are you? We've already arrived. Let's go. Dan, you can't do that. Dan. Katia, the subscriber, is unavailable. Mom, well, maybe his phone just sat down. Maybe, but Vanya should have come home a long time ago. That's it. Above the sink. Mom, well, what are you winding yourself up for? Well, what if something happened? What could have happened? Well, I came back. Maybe I forgot something in the bakery for some reason. Maybe he left his phone there at all. Oh, I don't know, Katia, my heart aches. I feel that something has happened to you. Come on, have a drink, calm down. Vadim Sergeyevich, yes? Take a look. Mobile phone. Okay. Great. So, we will establish the name of the victim. So. Ivanik. Go work. Please.
Thank you, Vanechka, please. Please show up. Mom. Yes? I almost called all the hospitals. There is no one similar in description. So, Katya, call the police. You wait. Wait, maybe. Call the police. All right. What is it? Is it closed? Okay, let's go. It's unclear why. We're closed. Closed. Now, wait. Closed. Open it, please. ATC. ATC, open up. Hello. Hello there. Investigator Tykonov. There was an accident near your store at night. Did you see anything? Maybe the buyers talked about it? Yes, it seems not, there was nothing with us. But we went out about 10 o'clock, didn't we, Mom? What happened? Hitting a pedestrian. A man was hit. Vanya. Which Vanya? Mom, well. My husband. He worked here late yesterday. Didn't come home. So? Is he alive? Yes, he is alive, but he is in an extremely serious condition. Yes, you, yes, you are so upset ahead of time for nothing. Let's go with me. Yes, let's go. We know everything ourselves. Maybe it's not him. I am now. Wait, I'll get my things. Okay, don't worry. We have to go. Calm down, calm down. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Thank you. Mom. Will he recover? There is hope. He needs peace now, that's why. Yes, I understand. Mom. Come on. He's alive. We're still stealing. Mom. I. Him. If you need me, I'm in my office. All right. Well, after all, I think it's a pure accident. Many people drive at night, drive through the streets, do not think about the consequences. But I have to consider other motives for the incident. Tell me, did Ivan Petrovich have any enemies? Maybe an ill-wisher? What are you? No, of course not. Vanya is a very kind, decent person. Yes, I also don't remember Dad ever having a conflict with anyone. Yeah, well, then we will still consider this case as a traffic accident. We have a witness who called the ambulance at night. We are now punching his phone number and, perhaps, he shed light on the events in some other way. So. Yes, Serioza, hi. No, I can't meet today. My dad is in the hospital. The car was hit. Yes, thank you. Come on.
Pasha, I feel very sorry for both Galia and the baby. I understand how hard it is for you to bear this grief right now, but... What did the doctor say? They said something with the heart. Couldn't stand the load. God, if only I could do it again. And you can't show everything, son. You can't show everything. But you know that it's not your fault. Dad, I already loved it. And I also broke a man yesterday. Well, I know. Son. I know. How to live on. I don't know. But I know for sure that you can't keep your nudes down right now, but you need to keep your head light. Why? If the police find out that you were the culprit of the accident, you will have to answer. And so it will install. I called the ambulance. Well, why? They can invite you just as a witness. And you will say that you were driving, didn't see anything, didn't hear anything. I saw a man, so you called, that's it. You will negotiate about the honeycomb with mine. Dad, you know me. I can't do that. That's why I have to go to the police and tell them everything as it was. That's what I'll do. Wait, son. Wait a minute. Well, why climb into the loop yourself? Excuse me, excuse me. I actually hit a man yesterday. Come in. So, now you need to describe everything in detail how it happened. Well, we have to detain you until the circumstances of the accident are clarified. Yes, I understand. Tell me, is he alive? There was no tuna steak. I didn't take it. But it's not scary. Thank you, thank you, dear. See, you're the only one who cares about me. And Pashka didn't even deign to call. Although he knows what a difficult time I have. Well, what's that got to do with it? You know he's not up to it right now. Take it and call him, hold him. Me? Yes. And why not? Moreover, he has another trouble. Which one is it? He hit a man.
This was to be expected. What to expect? How can you say that? He's your son. You are my son. And Pashka was always by his father's side. So you're saying I'm a mama's boy, right? You say there was no tuna steak, right? It's a pity, but next time I'll go with you. Oh, kiwis. My favorites. Thank you. Come on, sit down, I'll feed you. So, cookies with chocolate and croissant cheese, is everything right? Thank you, Katie Usha. Come again, you're welcome. So, where to put it? Yes, over there. Yeah. Serioza, is there anything else left? Yes, another baking sheet. All right, hello there, hello there. Please give me five of these cookies. And this one, too, of course. And put it down, please. All right. Yes to you. Katia's. Who to meet? Well, I remember, but... When was the last time I saw him? Good, good. A meeting. At the airport? At what time? I will do everything. Yes. Yeah, come on. Take it, please. Come again. Goodbye. Good morning. Cat, I need to leave urgently. Where to? Mom called, asked to meet a friend of some kind. Her parents are busy, in general, I don't know. Can't she call a taxi? Well, probably not. Well, listen, well, you can't decompose two rods, it takes 15 minutes. Yes, I just wanted to go home and change my clothes. All right, go ahead. Are you sure? Can you handle it alone? Do I have a choice? Come on, come on, go. Come on. So, I made an agreement. Sergei will meet your daughter. Oh. Listen. How long have they not seen each other, huh? Yes, we're flying, probably. Yes, yes. A long time ago. Well, fine. Here they will have something to talk about. Listen. It would be great if they were interested in each other. That would be brilliant. What are we all drinking tea about, huh? Maybe for a bowl. What will we do? Champagne, and champagne. A young man. Maybe I'll give you a ride after all. I'm driving. Thank you so much for your help. They're waiting for me. You're welcome. It's always nice to help a beautiful girl. Seriosa. Yes. Hello there. <laughs> well, it's me, Lisa. Don't you recognize me? Well. Lisa? What are you like? What have you become? An adult. Yes, an adult. And beautiful. Thank you. And my mom called me, said you'd meet me. Yes, your parents couldn't. Let me help you. Come on. You got a little dirty. It's coffee. Thank you. You listen to me, don't raise your voice. I said I would come and sign everything, and make it more important. That's it, I'll call you back. Sit down. You're, in general, my Pasha, he committed a stupid thing, went to the police and confessed that he was responsible for the accident. Well, it's clear that it was closed. So, you need to get him out of there. If you need money, you know I won't stand for the price. Pashka. What department is she in? Here is all the information. 
Oh. So it's on bail. Well, why did you do that? Your father asked. Father. Sitting is my considered decision, deliberate. Listen, let the court decide whether you will sit or not. Get in the car. Bon appetit to everyone. Thank you. Dad, why did you do that? Well, you shouldn't have. Whether it is necessary or not is up to me to decide. And you're acting like a boy. We must keep ourselves in hand. Come on, have a seat at the table. No, thanks. I don't have an appetite at all. I say, sit down at the table. I need to talk to you. Let's not do it here, not now. I went home. Pavel. Pavel. That's the character. What does character have to do with it? It's really not easy for him. Us. Mom and I miss you very much. You know, I even learned how to make your signature Napoleon. You will definitely try it. Just come back soon. Okay, Dad. We are waiting for you very, very much. Very. Yeah, does it need to be fixed here too? Yes, of course. Wait a minute. Jean. Yes, Romanovich. Is everything ready for you in Bacharinsky? Almost everything. I was just about to finish. Well, come on, go finish it. Yes. A day, here's the thing, Pashka doesn't pick up the phone again. Do you know where he is? Bad. It is necessary to find him, because he must attend the meeting of the shareholder. Let's go to his house. Come on, go. If he's at home, be sure to bring him. And that's what, you have two hours for everything about everything. All right, blow. Ah, uh, Dalian, let's go. So what else is there, tell me, so. Well, hello. Hash, aren't you answering the phone? Your father is looking for you. I don't give a damn, let him search. Ooh. Okay, stop drinking. Come on, get ready, let's go to the company. Beer, or rather, hey. Here, drink some water, get in touch. Look at who you've become like. And I don't care. As soon as I sober up, I feel like shit. Pasha, 
stop moping, come on, get ready, father said not to come back without you. Can't they be there without me? He needs your opinion and support on the board of shareholders. Or do you want to frame him? All right. Okay, wait, wait. Give me half an hour. So how was the issue resolved with the residents of the Bacharinsky district? The issue has not been fully resolved at the moment. We tried to negotiate with them, but they categorically refused to move the new building. Well, I don't understand myself, what are they missing? Excellent new houses with spacious corridors, high ceilings. Well, all social institutions are within walking distance. But probably because the land there is cheaper and further from the center. Maybe. Sorry I'm late. Yes, here, Pavel, have a seat, we've just started the discussion. What are we discussing? So the settlement of the Buturinsky Quarter. As far as you know, the residents are unhappy with the move. Or maybe we won't touch the area at all. We will abandon the project. Well, anyway, the city administration did not approve the construction plan for us. Don't talk nonsense. Pavel Mihailovich, this is a settled issue. We've already spent a lot of money on surveyors and architects. Is the city administration ready to support our project? Yes. Yes, of course. We generally invest our investors' money in making them profit. This is a normal business. Business. Yes, I see money means a lot to you all. And the people? You think about your own profit but you don't realize that you can ruin someone's fate. Most of these residents have lived in the area all their lives. Are you suggesting they start over? In general, if you needed an opinion on this issue, you have heard it. I don't think you'll need me anymore. Pavel. Pavel. Dad, it's going to be okay. Please forgive him. He's not feeling well. He just lost his wife and child the other day. Yes, we understand. Let's continue. Well, yes. Pavel Mihailovich, have you lost it? It's okay. It's okay. So. Vadim Sergeyevich. Eh, uh, Alexeev? And I didn't call you. I know, I came to ask you for the address of the man I hit, Romanov. Why is that? I want to help him. Maybe you want to. Influence Roman's relatives? Scare them? or for them to withdraw their application. No, I really want to help him. I'm willing to pay him a good private clinic. Or for sure he will need expensive medications. I'm ready to get them. At least tell me the address of the hospital where he is. Yes, I understand everything, but I can't give you that information. Listen, Vadim Sergeyevich, I didn't run away anywhere. I didn't hide anywhere. I honestly came to you, wrote everything as it was. And now I sincerely want to help a person. Can't you see? If you receive at least one claim from the Romanovs, you will decide to aggravate your situation. It won't arrive. It won't arrive. The legend is fresh, but it's hard to believe. 
Pavel Romanovich, unfortunately, I cannot resolve this issue without the consent of my relatives. Let's wait for them to appear. Yes, I understand you, of course. Hello there. Hello. Well, what are you doing here? And you? This, by the way, is Katya, Ivan Petrovich's daughter. So what are you doing here? This can't be happening. Look, I'm here on business. On what business? What kind of business can you have with a person who is in a coma? Yes, because of me, your father is in a coma. What do you mean? I mean, I hit him. This is an absolute accident. There the car skidded and... In general. Go away. Ah, uh, let's talk. I said it. Go away. I don't want you. Listen, let's calm down. I'm asking you. I love you very much. I want to sit with dad. Also sit with dad. And sit here for a while, drink some water. Katya, we asked to give you a list of medications, take this. Yes, we will try to get it. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me help you with your medications. Don't. I can take care of all the financial expenses. Please leave us alone, go away. I just want to fix what I did. You know what? Please leave. Let's get back to our conversation after all. What are Ivan Petrovich's chances? He will need another operation. More complex and expensive. Otherwise, he will remain disabled. I understand you. I will take care of all financial issues, and he will try to solve the issue with relatives. Well, you keep me posted. Okay, thanks, goodbye. Have a nice day. Oh, and show me this ring. Yeah, an excellent choice. It's insanely beautiful. Yes, Romachka. In the store. I'll be there soon, yes. I'm kissing, bye bye. Very beautiful. I would give my girlfriend for this. So, what's the problem? I think the girl would be very happy with such a gift. I'll take it. Yeah. How's our old man doing there? Happy. But I'm not, because my girlfriend is sleeping with an old bastard. We need to be patient a little. The most important thing is that he should write me into his will as soon as possible. And that's it. Here. Thanks for the purchase. Have you already chosen something? And I'll do it next time. Bye. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Cool car. Did you win the lottery? No, you gave me a husband. Well, how lucky are you with your husband? Or maybe the husband is lucky that he has a young wife. And the young wife is not confused by the age difference, that he's old enough to be your father? Mm. 
Rum. Hi there. Hi there. How are you? All right. Wait, wait. Why do you smell like men's cologne, huh? Admit it. What do you think? This Pashki smells. Well, what have you arranged for the directors in the world, eh? I didn't arrange anything. I was looking for my opinion. And you shouldn't have had an opinion. Because you and I are one team. Why? If I disagree with what should you say in a way that is convenient for you? Yes, because we have already discussed this issue. I was counting on your support. Well, I'm sorry that I couldn't support you in this matter. I'll go. I forgive you. Only if next time I want to kick up, please tell me in advance. All right? Dad, listen, I need money. Money? Why do you need money? I want to pay for the operation to the person I hit. What the hell? Are you even going in there? Well, of course, on the other hand, if it's lying, then you're in danger of a term. This is understandable. Well, will you help him? What? Right now? According to the chief. So what are you saying? What? Rom, we need to ask the driver to help Tatiana with groceries tomorrow. Will you do it? Yes, good. Okay, you. So what are you saying? How much money do you need? Fifty thousand dollars. Your irresponsibility is costing me dearly. I know, Dad, I'm sorry. I'm holding on like this because of the last of my strength, and that's only because I feel responsible to the Romanovs. It means that the roof would have gone long ago. Yes. Okay, what do you think I don't understand? I understand everything perfectly. And you too. Son, you should know that you are my support, the continuator of my ideas. That's it. And Dennis is like that. Even though he's swaggering, he's still weaker than you. Is there no rod in it, or what? Here, I'll take it. Thanks, Dad. I returned it. I know. Go ahead. Meet up. Delicious, right? Tired of it? Yes. Yes, Serioza. No, let's do it another time, please. I'm so tired today. Well, yes, you know, we pull on ourselves with mom. A bakery, yes, and we go to dad all the time. Won't you be offended? Honestly? All right, come on, bye-bye. For now. Katia, hello. You wait. I brought you the money. Here, take this. This is for an operation for your father. We don't need a feed from you. Or do you want to buy something off from us, right? I don't want to buy anyone off. I want to help. I want your father to get well. Don't you want it yourself? I don't want you to show up on my doorstep anymore. Goodbye. Cat, wait. Cat.
What a character. Holy shit. Are you you, baby? Well, wow. Why did the old man drive you such a car? Are you jealous or something? Where did you say you went this time? She said she was going to fitness. Will you let me spill it? Let's see. Yes, let's go do fitness. Let's go. Yes, Marin. They ask when Pavel Romanovich will be here. Is he still missing? No. Tell me what, tell me he probably won't be here today. He's got things to do. All right. Yes, Dad. Quickly pulled himself together, running to work. I'm sorry, but I can't. There is no such word I can't. There is a word necessary, in general, so, I'm going to the city administration now, and you should be there in an hour. Is that clear? All right, give me one more day. I'll pull myself together and pull myself together. I promise. Day. Hold on, son, hold on. So, well. Yes, my good hello. Tell me, dear, are you still on fitness? No, I'm going to the store with my girlfriend right now. Say hi to your friend. Tell me, when will you be home? Well, in about two or three hours. Okay, I can't talk at the wheel right now. Yeah, that's it, bye bye. Well, say hi to your girlfriend. Let's go, girlfriend. Or maybe consider, including foreign specialists. Pavel Romanovich. Karadinov is the best specialist in his field. And do you guarantee that he will help Ivan Petrovich? But even the Lord God will not give you a 100% guarantee. Don't worry like that. To which account should I transfer the money? We will prepare the documents, the details to which you can transfer the money. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Hi there. Hi, Vitya. Accept the goods. Do you hear? We have Vanya in the hospital. 
Maybe you'll unload it and I'll pay you. Oh, I'd love to. Only recently, I've been hanging around with sciatica. I'll pass. Clearly. Or maybe you'll sit down for a while, have a cup of tea, and we'll decide who will unload. No, thanks. I'll keep an eye on the goods for now. Oh, okay. Okay, a couple of minutes. Well, what are we going to do? Wait, now Seriosa, I'll try to call. Hello, Seriosa, hi. I can't talk right now. Yes, later, yes. Why aren't you eating anything? Not very hungry. Thank you. Maybe rice with vegetables? Except for rice. Honey. And this summer we rested in such a wonderful place. So many photos turned out. And I'll show you what. Borea, Borea. Everything, boys, come on, come on. Thank you. Photos. Serioza, who called you? Do you have any problems? Good afternoon. Do you need help? Kind. Yes, these boxes need to be brought to the cafe. Let me help you. Hold the door, please. Thank you. The loader does not pick up the phone. Hello, where to put it? Hey, you leave it right here. In general. Has anyone invited you here? You have forbidden to appear on the threshold of your apartment. And here, as I see, is a pastry shop. And, by the way, for me it's the same thing. And in general, no one asked you to help me. And you know what? You disgust me. I hate to see you. Because you remind me of what happened to my dad. I hate to believe myself. Only you don't give a damn about it. Ram, hi. What happened? Have a drink? I'm listening to you. I'll have a drink. You're... We need to find a man, a detective, who will follow my wife. I understand you. But when do you need to provide information? Well, the sooner the better. All right, wrong. I'll do it.
Oh, how long the operation lasts. Mom, it's going to be okay. We need to believe in the best. We can only believe in a miracle. How? The operation was successful. The operation was conducted by our best neurosurgeon Karadinov. Thank you, doctor. You couldn't even dream of it. Really? Thank you very much. This is thanks to Karadinov and Mr. Alexeev. He paid for this operation. Which Alexeev? Pavel Alexeev. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Doctor, thank you. Do you realize that you are breaking deadlines? The project should have been ready a week ago. Yes, but this is not a reason to find the terms of the contract. Let's agree on this with you. We're giving it another week. If you do not submit the project, serious penalties will follow in a week, as in the contract. Yes, I hope so too. Goodbye. Arkabas. Again. Yeah, they're pulling again. For the next project, it will be necessary to find a new architectural bureau. You're good, you're so strict with them. Well, how else else and will sit on the neck and... What are you? How are you feeling? It's fine. If we're alive, we won't die. Dad said that you are going to go to the Bachurinsky district, communicate with the residents. Yes, they are rallying there again. The majority of the shareholders' council decided to build a residential complex there after all. And despite the fact that I was against it. Well, do you want me to go with you? Are you free? Yes. Let's go. I could use your help. So, here is the amount to be paid. Thank you for not giving up. Yeah. Please. Come on in again. Bon appetit. Well, mom, did I jump far away to the rally? Have you forgotten? Cat, well, maybe you won't go. Last time your participation in the picket ended very badly. Just think, well, the police sat there for a couple of hours. Mom, nonsense. You only think about yourself, that's all. And I was worried, by the way. Mommy, please. And to be honest, I don't care if our store is demolished or not. If they demolish it, then they will pay compensation. We can't pull it together anyway. There is no father, and it is dangerous to take people off the street. Mom, well, this is our home. I grew up here, my whole childhood was spent here. And here, my friends, I don't want to leave. Please, can I go? All right, go ahead. Just don't get into the middle of it. I promise. That's it, I jumped. Holy shit, and they are already waiting for us, and the number of the enemy far exceeds ours. We're about to be pelted with tomatoes. Oh, shit, guys, I'm not going with you. You mean you're not going? There's a girl whose father I hit. So what? Well, what? Imagine yourself in her place. I didn't just hit her father, but I also work for a company that wants to demolish her neighborhood. Okay, Gina, let's go to yours. Oh, it's going to be fun now. Come on, guys, be careful. Hello, police, hello. Can I have an option, please? Yes, understand, you will have modern apartments that are much better than your current housing. Yeah, it's just a promise. We don't believe you. Yes, listen, no one is going to deceive you. The new building has high ceilings, spacious hallways. There is more quadrature. It's much better than before. Yes, we are satisfied with our apartments. We're not moving anywhere. We all know each other. We are friends. And you scatter us all over the city what? We will try to allocate you all apartments in one neighborhood. Don't you understand? We don't want to move anywhere. Which means there will be no construction. Is that clear? Is that clear? I see. Yes, yes. Let's calm down now and decide. Yes, we are not going to talk to thieves at all. Roll something in good health. 
What thieves? Yes, you understand, finally, whether you like it or not, this issue has already been resolved. I have documents that give us the official, legal right to carry out construction on this territory. You just wanted to negotiate with you normally, humanly, kindly, and you don't want to listen to anything. Sty what nimble. Agreed. Friends, let's show who's in charge here, right, men? Come on. What does it mean? Come on. That's it, we've decided. Yes, nothing will happen. Said no. So, no. What are you doing? Who was told? Well, where did you take her? Damn, they're crazy. Some kind of beast. So what to do with them? This is constantly repeated. We'll figure something out. It won't pass. Calm down, calm down. Well, let's go. Yes, let's go. I'll take you to the office now. Isn't that all? All right. Took it off. Yes, I did. Did it work out fine? Katerina, Katerina, you're violating public order again. Hello there. Hello. They've already come to blows. What should I do with you? Let go. Well, yes. So I took it and let it go. I didn't get into any fights. I, on the contrary, wanted to separate them. Well, I don't know that yet. Let's interrogate everyone and figure out which one of you is to blame. Well, look into my honest eyes. It's not my fault. Do you really have very beautiful eyes? But even for their sake, I can't let you go. My mom will be very worried, please. Mom. I used to have to think about my mom. Yes, I didn't get into a fight. Katerina. Follow me. No, I just want to help. Thank you. Stop meddling in my life. Mind your own business. Am I really that unpleasant to you? Leave me alone. Hello, yes, mom. Cat, where are you? The neighbor said that you were taken to the police again. It's okay, mom, it's fine. I can't find a place for myself. Maybe I should drive up. Mom, you don't have to drive anywhere. I'll be home soon already. Well, thank God. I'm waiting. That's it. Bye. Can we at least give you a ride home? Cat, well, let me give you a ride home. I can see it's you who are freezing. And I need to go home. I need to go to the store first. Let's get a ride to the store. It doesn't matter. Agree, otherwise five more minutes and you will turn into a snowman. It's only good because it's cold. How is dad feeling? Doctors say there are changes for the better. Are you trying to figure out whether to sit or not, right? Why are you saying that? 
I'm really worried. I know that there is no excuse for my action. Just at my place that night. What did you have that evening? Didn't eat, didn't sleep, or had a fight with someone? It doesn't matter. Have you arrived? Thanks for the ride. And I hope we haven't met again. I can't guarantee you that. Rom, hi. How are you doing? How was your day? Where have you been? I was dating a girlfriend. What happened? Girlfriend's name is Maxim Volsky. No. Maxim is an old friend of mine. And what? What are you doing with him? Actually, no business. He didn't help. That he helped? And Roma, well, now I won't get a surprise. I wanted to make a gift. And Maxim has his own jewelry workshop. Don't lie. I'm not lying. He doesn't have a jewelry workshop. He's unemployed. He has connections. Connections? Yes. He has one connection. With you. He's from my house. Get out of my house. Dad. What? Give me some water. Dad. 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 Good evening. Do you have vodka? No, it's a pastry shop. We don't sell alcohol. No beer? No. Water 20. Lek, can we at least get snacks? Take it away. These are cookies with chocolate, raisins, and nuts. And only 120. For what? You don't have vodka, do you? Aren't you going to pay? Please pay. What's the problem, guys? Out, let's get out of here. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. And you have a scratch here. I'll go get the peroxide. It needs to be processed. Don't. Nonsense. No, we need to process it better. Does it hurt? No, I'm just kidding. You're joking. Katia, can we switch to you? Well, I'll think about it. Why are you working so late? Well, someone has to close the store. Dad used to do it. Cat, listen, I promise you, I will do everything. Everything in my power, as long as your dad gets well as soon as possible.
Thank you for being in the right place at the right time. Well, maybe it's fate. Pash. I don't think we should see each other anymore. And there is a reason for this, isn't it worth it? Cat. It's not easy for me right now. I can't. I understand. I understand. Cat, I'm really, really sorry that everything turned out this way. I didn't mean to. I wasn't myself that day because. Because my wife died that day during childbirth. I lost her and the baby. I'm sorry. Nothing. It's all right. It's all right now. Far. Yes, that's me, what happened? Where is so much mist? I just forgot my phone in the car. I'll be right there, wait. More. No, thanks. Dad. I'm here, Pashka. Son. Oh, you're so prickly. You, Pash. You take the management of the company into your own hands because it's not known how long I'll be here, right? Finally, all this will solve the problem. Pasha, get this trash out of my house. Of course, dad, I don't want to see her anymore. Do you hear? I don't want to see her anymore. A doctor, a doctor.
This is retribution. I should have married a young one. God, how can you say that? My father died. He begged me as an unnecessary thing, regardless of my feelings. I hope I didn't forget to mention the will. Are you still here? And where do I need to be? Anywhere but in this house. Who decided that? That's what my father decided. Well, yes. But he's gone already. So that's it. Listen to me carefully, I won't repeat it. My father's last wish was for you to leave this house. And the sooner you do it, the better it will be for you, understand? Are you going to put me out of the gate yourself? If you want, I can do it myself. If you want, I can call the police. Let's call the police. It seems to me that she will be on my side, since I am still the legitimate wife of Roman. Well, let's hear what's in the will. We'll talk later. And so it turned out that there were inaccuracies in this project here. And in this. Small, but they are there. Right here. Listen, give all this to the architect to advise the shareholders. This floor plan was ready. All right. Only so that they do not delay. Well, they love it. Let's be stricter. Yes, of course. I went. Familiar school? Yes. How are you coping? Nothing, yes. Slowly. And you? Well, nothing. It's fine. Is Jenka helping you? Yes. Well done. Listen. I will have a trial soon and there is a high probability that I will still be imprisoned. Come on, everything will be fine. And yet, if this happens, as you understand, the company remains to you. Yes. So learn to take the bosses of the board into your own hands. You can say that I am officially transferring my powers to you. Don't let me down. So I won't let you down. I'm good. Why did you come? Mom, I came to you. Talk. I have nothing to talk to you about. Mom. Mom. Mom.
Katia. I remember you told me not to come back, but... I honestly have nowhere else to go. My dad died. And it turns out that since the last couple of months he has lost the closest people in his life. I really don't want to be alone at such a moment. What happened? Heart attack. Yes, Mom. What happened? Yeah, well, I'll be there soon. Mom called. And Dad woke up. Then why are we sitting? Come on, I'll take you. Yes, good. Wait, the jacket. Yes. Put it on, please. Stop the car, please. Cat, what happened? I tell Dad, Dad, seriously, let me try something. I'm about 17 years old, yes, guys, well. No brains. Hi there. Will you introduce me to a girl? Me. I wanted to tell you, but... I called, but then you were busy, then something else. I see. Which is good. Good luck. I'm sorry. For now. Cat, what happened? Who was it? Just like that. One friend I trusted didn't have to. I see. Listen. If you've met one idiot in your life, it doesn't mean that after all. I'm sure you'll meet someone else who will be worthy of you. Cat. Why are you so weak? Come on, daddy's waiting for you. Let's go, let's go. Was it Katia? Now, I'm sorry. Well, that's much better. Otherwise, 
dad wouldn't have recognized his daughter. Thank you. You're welcome. Vinechka, my beloved, now everything will be fine, really. And where is Katya? Why has she been gone so long? So she had to close the store. It's coming. Easy to mention. Are you crying? Rejoice here. So I'm happy. You girls are mine. Boulder, Boulder, hello. Oh, come on, come on. Congratulations on assuming the position of the head of the company. Thank you. We are not very happy for everyone. Thank you. Very glad. And I hope you will support us. Moreover, the construction papers are already in the administration for signature. You see how. Pasha is actually against it. Yes, but for some reason I am sure that we will reach a compromise with you. Moreover, the debt is now rightfully yours. Well, what kind of director is without a portfolio? For the first time. I will try to change something. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Considering that Ivan Petrovich Romanov crossed the road in the wrong place, that is, he violated the rules of the road, and considering that his health condition is out of danger, Pavel Romanovich Alexeev is found innocent. Hello. Katyusha, Katyusha, why should I go to another hospital? I don't understand. They treat you well here. Dad, this is a private clinic and conditions are better there. Spend money on me. Don't worry about the money. Pavel Alexeev paid for everything. Wait, is this the young man who hit me? Yes, this is the young man who hit you. And how are you, Serioza, doing? Nothing. I see. It's a pity. Kebabs are very funny. Marin, listen, have you prepared all the documents for the shareholders' meeting? Yes, they're already in the conference room. Well done. Good morning. Good morning. Listen, what about you? How? What? Did you come to work? So, what about your business? Everything is fine, everything is sorted out. Ready for work and defense? Yes. What about my credentials? What about them? As he handed it over, so he took it away. Do you mind? Something. That we will go to the meeting soon. You, you go, I'm going now. With the city administration, yes, the issue is important. They gave the go-ahead for the construction of our residential complex. So we can start building. As far as I know, the issue with the residents has not yet been resolved. Rallies are still taking place there. But when we start handing out warrants for a new building on Ceramic Street, people will immediately shut up. What do you mean people will shut up? What kind of words? These are people. They are cattle. They live there as families, communicate with neighbors, or there's actually their own world. Do you suggest just taking it all and destroying it? Pash. It feels like we are the first to demolish houses. Naturally, they will be unhappy, but we will negotiate with them. I think we should freeze the resolution of this issue. What does it mean to freeze? Are you out of your mind? Pavel Romanovich, do not forget that not only you invest your money, but we also invest money. And they invested so much that there is no way back. And yet I insist that the issue of the Bachelinsky district be postponed. I hope this is the last time we postpone resolving the issue of the Bachelinsky district. Let's move on to the next projects.
Dennis, is everything okay? Yes, yes. What will you have? As usual, decaf. Scan. Water. And you? Salad. Yes, good. Take the salmon with you. Now. Ah, uh, Dennis. Romanik. So what happened? He promised to negotiate with his brother. I really don't understand what's going on. When my father was alive, Pasha supported all his proposals. And for some reason, it was in the Bacharinsky district that his opinion changed. Yes, we see what has changed. Understand. We have solid people behind us who don't want to lose their money. Do you understand the responsibility? I understand. In general, I don't want to scare you, but the consequences can be very deplorable. I understand. I'll try to put pressure on Dad. No, you won't try. But you will do everything so that the construction starts as soon as possible. All right. Excuse me. Pasha. Yes, what did you want? I'll be home and we'll talk. All right. Pavel offers to talk. Well, this, that's fine. Come on, earn the money you got. You have one last chance to get your brother killed. Well, come on, come on. What are you sitting for? Goodbye. Damn. Dan, where did you leave the office so quickly? I actually wanted to talk to you. Personal problems. The problems are what you arranged on the board of directors. We're basically the same team. You and I have a controlling stake, in case you haven't forgotten. And our decision is the law for all other shareholders. But why should I anticipate what's in your head? Then you are for construction, then against. What's gotten into you? Although I know which one. Is it because of that girl whose father you hit? What do you mean? What do you mean? Do you think I can't see the way you're looking at her? Katya has absolutely nothing to do with my decision. Yes. Well, then you're a fool yourself. Sometimes I want to, sometimes I don't want to. My father wanted to expand construction in this Bacharinsky district. Let's fulfill his last wish. Father is no more and we will not build there. Why? Because we won't. Huge money has been invested. Shareholders will never forgive this. I didn't give a damn about these shareholders. This is a settled issue. That's it. We're a team. This brute left me only the apartment he bought for me. Don't talk bad about dad. Calm down. What do I have to live on? And when do you want to perform? Don't worry about anything. Tomorrow you have an official meeting with a notary. I'll catch up now. Wait. I'm waiting for you. Mom, if you want, you can come back here to the cottage. Think about it. Well, that's it. Sell the apartment. And we will help with the money. The bastard didn't leave a penny. Everything went to hell. And, by the way, because of you. What's that got to do with me? I've missed you so much. I want to see you. Now, please, admire me. Even during the day, even at night. But you and I won't see any money. Baby, sit down, don't worry. If you want a beer, drink it. He'll just think about what to do next. And you'll figure it out. You'll come up with a lot of things. I'll figure it out. A quick transition from defense to attack did not work out. What are you doing?
I know what to do. And what? You will rob Alexeev. Are you crazy? How do I rob? And if you get into the house, I know where the safe is. I know the code. No, I won't do that. Why? I won't do that. Do you want me to be tied up, or what? Are you a man at everything, or who are you? Do you want me to do it myself? And then what are you going to do? Lying on the couch and moaning. If you want a normal life, if you want to live as a person, then you need to work. Don't worry. You and I will think through everything on every little detail. Do you hear? Hush. The goat. They called from the architectural bureau, asked to bring documents on the project before 15. And when do they need them? Urgent. And the documents for this project are in the safe at home. Come on, you know how we'll do it. I'll go home and bring them these documents myself. Will you warn them? Yeah. Great. Cat, hi. Busy today? Shall we meet? But if you want, we can go to your father's hospital. Yes, agreed. Then I'll call you when I'm done. Come on, bye. Vit, don't close the gate, I'm literally for five minutes. Tell them I'll be there in half an hour. Yes, I'm already home. All right, come on, bye.
Tatiana Tatiana My God, what's going on here? Call an ambulance. Call me quickly. Listen, Dan. As you know, while I'm lying here, you're in charge of the company. Therefore, I ask you very much, do not make any important decisions on your own. All right? All right. If anything, call, consult. All right. The company is in good hands. Don't worry about it. The main thing is to get well. Well, okay. Come on. Did you bring my phone? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Call me if you need anything. All right. Cat, hi. Please forgive me for missing. It's just something happened here. No, no, nothing serious, it's just that things have appeared. I'm for you. Cat. Cat. So, theft, oh, attempted murder, but the term is not small for you, it is shining. I didn't want to kill him. I was defending myself. It jumped into your hands by itself. It came out automatically. I repent of everything. Well, let's say. And how did you find out the cipher from the safe? Here's a paper and a pen. Your future fate will depend on what you write. And maybe the term will be shortened. Come on. Finally.
Natalia Alexeva. Yes, it's me. You need to come with us. And who are you? Did something happen? Does the name Maxim Volnov mean anything to you? The bastard. Dash, listen, and in which ward is Ivan Petrovich Romanov lying? Novels, the 14th Watt. So my friend wanted to go to him. Well, you can't get up yet. Don't you dare. Well, then, I'll come back when I get better. Yes. Ivan Petrovich, hello, may I? Do we know each other? My name is Pavel. I've come to ask your forgiveness. For what? In general, it was I who beat you then. You see, my wife died that day and I was not myself. I don't know how it happened. Please forgive me. You sit down. I am very sorry to you and to you. Boy, what are you? A doctor. A doctor, rather. Somebody. Guy. You. What? Here you go. Well. I told you, you can't get up. Gina, bring me all the documents on the Bacharinsky Residential Complex. Dennis, but Pavel Romanovich asked not to give these documents to anyone. Pasha is in the hospital. It's been an hour since he handed over all the powers to me. Listen, well, can we wait for Pasha's return after all? Jean, I didn't understand, but what's the matter? I am your boss and you must unquestioningly follow all my instructions. What's the problem? Nothing. All right. Come on. The sooner the better. Hello there. Hi there. Where are you going? Come on, make me some coffee. Careful, Dad. Dad, don't be in a hurry, come on. I'm not in a hurry, I'm not in a hurry. Let me help you. Don't, I'll do it myself. I'll be running for a couple more weeks. Quiet. Without these polis. Of course, of course. By the way, you know, a couple of days ago, a guy came to me. Well, the one who knocked me down, Pavel Alexeev. And why did he come? He asked for forgiveness. By the way, he is also in this clinic. What do you mean? With a knife wound. Dad, what kind of ward is he in now? That's what I don't know. And you ask him from the nurse. Yes, good. Girl, excuse me, please, can you tell me, Pavel Alexeev? He is with a knife wound. In which ward is he lying now? Sixth. Thank you. Dad, I'll be right there. Why didn't you tell me anything? I didn't want you to worry. I really had things to do then. Then everything just didn't go according to plan somehow.
let's make a deal. No matter what happens, you'll always tell me the truth, okay? I promise to tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Are you sure? Your move, sir. All right. And check it out for you. A. That's right, and checkmate. Here everything is blocked by the elephant, hence the horse. That's it. What about me? Here I am, ah. Well, how did I miss it like that? Cat, well, Pavel beat me at chess again. And I take it you're having fun here, right? In the hospital. No, actually, we're going to check out soon. You look, cat, what a fighter, and... Not only did he beat me with chess, he was also going to check out. So, let's have another batch. Are you sure? I'm always sure. That's it, it's okay. Come on. Only now I'm black. Am I bothering you? No, no, just sit there and be quiet. All right. And now about the most important thing. Documents from the administration have been received, all permits are in our hands. We are starting construction in the Bacharinsky district. And now the motto of our company will be, the main thing is the result. Marina. Fidenka, my grandson. Do you hear? Twelve points. So, I want to tell you, such a good boy. Well, very good. Hi there. And you've heard that. Hi there. Why didn't you even call? I decided to surprise you. What are you? Yes, yes. Ira, did you hear that? It turns out that our block will soon begin to be demolished after all. Yes, Vaughn, Markovna says that even her neighbor received documents for a new apartment. I, I, I. How come? Huh? What about your shop? Isn't he going to be demolished too? Yeah. I somehow thought that Vanya would recover and things would get better for us. And it's like that. Apparently, not fate. Katyusha, what's going on? You and I went to rallies for nothing. It turns out that all this is useless. But why is it useless? Well, we'll fight again. Let's fight. I don't understand what to do with it at all. Look, I'll explain it to you now. I'm going to double check. Why the hell did you give the go-ahead for construction in the Bacharinsky district? And I have the whole package of documents in my hands. I do what I want. Are you stupid? If someone jumps under the excavator, if people die there... Out. Let's figure it out. Why am I like a six Dennis take this, Dennis, give this? I am also an equal member of the team. Why do you think that all important decisions should be made by you, 
Yes, because you are weak, it's characterless and you get under the influence of someone else. There's no core in you, Dan. Yes, you don't have a core in you. What's the matter with you? I don't recognize you at all. Do I understand correctly that this decision cannot be reversed? Yes, you understand everything correctly. How are you going to sleep at night after that? And you know, Dad wasn't just afraid to trust you with important decisions. So he just suspended you from work. Or how? He's in charge of the company. I'm his deputy. But you're no worse than him. I don't understand at all. Why are you always in some kind of secondary roles, Dinechka? I try to convince you all the time. You, Pasha, have equal opportunities. Well, he wasn't there. You were running the company. You liked it, didn't you? Yes, I liked it. And what? I can't move it like that and say sorry, brother. Now I will run the company. You can. How? When the accident happened, was he drunk? Was. Well, don't you think it's worth reporting this to the police? What will it give? The trial has already been held. But when the investigation finds out about new facts, they will reopen the case. Look, I don't understand. Do you want me to go against my brother? What kind of brother is he to you now? If you and I were left with nothing at all after Roman's will. He's got everything, is that fair? He doesn't put you in anything. Well, you'll be in this role until you get old, go, give, bring a day. But it's time to somehow become an adult. Do you even understand what you're pushing me to do? Yes. But I've always wanted you to feel second best. Just think about what I'm telling you. Think about it. Cat. Thank you. Thank you for what? For saving me. Saved. Thanks to you, I realized what it's worth living for. After everything that had happened in my life, I really didn't know what to do next. And I'm glad your family was able to forgive me after everything that happened. It turns out that now you don't need to help us. But I'd like to keep in touch with you, if you don't mind. We can date. Sometimes. Cat. And if I always want to.
So. You claim that Pavel Alexeev was drunk at the time of hitting the pedestrian? Yes. I affirm and want justice to prevail. This requires strong evidence. Interview the bartender, the guards. They've seen everything and know everything. Yes, but too much time has passed since the accident. They are unlikely to remember, but you can try it, right? You can. Let's start remembering from you. You will now describe to me in detail how everything happened with you and we will give the case a go. You can do without it. I know. It's so personal that. I would not like it to be in the protocol. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Pavel Romanovich, may I? Yes. Just got a call. There are problems again in the Bacharinsky district. Residents do not allow construction equipment. I see. The foreman has all the official documents with him there, but the people are still on strike. Maybe the police should be involved. No, you definitely don't need the police. And what to do? It turns out to be simple. We lose money. There is only one way out, to go and talk to them. Yes, how many times have we traveled? Zero cents. They don't want to listen to anything. Well, if we can't, we'll take a decision. Let's try to convince the residents. I'll go and talk to them. Maybe I should come with you. I'm Ken, don't. I can handle it myself. Well, let's, as we don't know, decide. Well, you warm up. Citizens, hello. My name is Pavel Alexeev. I am the managing director of Integral Alpha. I came with you to impose the current situation. Well, let's discuss it. I'll tell you honestly, from the very beginning I personally was against the development of your area. But this decision was made without me, behind my back. Well, why did you come? I came to discuss the issue of resettlement with you. And you want to promise us mountains of gold? No, no one will promise you mountains of gold. Our company has already built a starter house. It's not far here, on Kutapova Street. Has anyone already received an inspection warrant? I got it. And how do you like the apartment? Nice, spacious, the kitchen is as big as a room. Then why did you come for a month? And for the company. I see. In general, citizens, do not worry. You will all get your apartments, as promised, according to the square footage. No one will be deceived, no one will be left on the street. Can you copy this for me? Yes, absolutely. I'm in shock, Mom. I don't understand how he could. So, Pasha came. Kat, can we talk? Hello. Hello, Pavel. I'll go check the cheesecakes. But what do I have to talk to you about? I saw everything perfectly. Yes, but you don't know everything. I was against this project from the very beginning. They did it behind my back while I was lying in the hospital. Why didn't you just say that you work there? I was scared because... 
I didn't know what your reaction would be when you found out that I work for a company that wants to demolish your block. I'm very afraid of losing you, Kat. Is that why you decided to lie? Believe me, I'm not proud of it at all. I feel like shit. Do you feel right, Pash? Because after that, nothing can happen between us. Cat. You're holding up the cue. Girl, hello. Hello there. The usual for you, right? Yes. And with chocolate, yes. And with almonds, yes. Dad, can you open the door? Hey, aren't you ashamed? Please, I'm begging you. Well, it's just that if it's Pavel, then I wouldn't want to see him. What kind of news is this? Why don't you want to talk to him? I'll explain it to you later. Please. Well, okay. Ivan Petrovich, hello. Hello, Pasha. Katya doesn't answer the phone. I can't reach her. Is she at home? No. No. <clears throat> And I'm not in the store either. Ivanovich, I really need to talk to her, really. Sorry, Pasha. I can't help you with anything. I get it. Goodbye. Happily. That's not a good thing you're doing, Katya. You're making me tell lies. Dad, I'm sorry, it was necessary. If it's because the company is going to demolish our block, since Pavlash, nothing depends. No, it's not because of that. Well, a joint. And because of what? Explain. Or maybe you shouldn't push him away like that right away. I saw how worried he was. And you? He's worried too. That's why all this. Why are you torturing each other? Do you want to? What? Nothing. Alexei. Vadim Sergeyevich? Hello. What are you doing here? You need to come with us. And why? Give new testimony about a pedestrian hit by a drunk driver. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, we'll make some tea now.
Houses began to be demolished. They'll get to our store soon. Nothing, we have to pay compensation first. We still need to prepare. Sooner or later we will have to close. I can't imagine how we will be without our store. It's necessary to look for a job somewhere. And you know, they say that these are new apartments, that they are good. Many were given a warrant, and many have already moved. Would you make up with Pavel, eh? You can't change anything anyway. I can see it. I see you struggling. Dad, what are you doing here, Van? Wait, wait, the investigator called. There will be a trial again. What do you mean again? He said that some facts of Pavel Alexeev's guilt had been revealed. I don't understand anything. That's it. What facts? I don't know. Alexeev Pavel Romanovich is sentenced to two years of imprisonment with serving time in a correctional colony of general regime. The verdict comes into force from the moment of its announcement. The verdict may be appealed within the time limit set for appealing the court decision. At this hearing, the court is declared closed. I'm sorry. I framed my brother. Are you mumbling? Why? I don't understand why you pushed me to do this. Come on. Stop reflecting. It's time to become independent. You will head your father's firm. Did you dream about it? Well, if your Pasha sits for two years, nothing terrible will happen to him. I mean, nothing's going to happen. How can you even say that? All right. Okay, what? Let's have some tea. Okay. I can't look up to it, I immediately have tears in my eyes. And how are we going to be without our shop now? Well, the noses are hung up. There are arms, legs, a head on your shoulders. We'll figure something out. Well, what will we come up with, Vanya? We haven't been compensated yet. Irish, let's not get angry before the time of tears. So, all the girls, the pastry shop is closed. That's it. Home. Drink tea. Come on, come on, come on. Please come in. Maranaka, I will ask you that no one bothers us and coffee for my guests. All right. Okay. So. Well. Where were we? Denis Romanovich, we decided that your company will save a lot of money. Yes. This is because there are no intermediaries. 
who will give me guarantees about the quality of the material? Listen. The quality of cancellation. Many companies have worked with Arintex. No complaints, no complaints. Yes, Dennis, take it. There won't be a second chance. Discount. But, there will be a discount. The more you take, respectively, the greater the discount. All right. I will contact my CFO and he will arrange negotiations with a representative of Arantex. Dennis, you know us, we will not advise anything bad. Thank you. Good job. Let's go eat. Lunch. Well, Pasha, let's go. Two guys, I'm not done yet. So. Everyone listen here. As you all already know, Koshalev is leaving us today. We need a new foreman. Is there a suggestion? So we have him as a drummer of production, so let him be a foreman. I agree. Unanimously. Swept away. Well, Alexei. Start your new duties. Foreman. Wow, I went on vacation. And who advised you to buy building materials from Orintex? I was introduced. Two representatives came. Listen, how can you trust strangers? Damn it. Now you can't prove anything. Yes. I had to check everything myself. Go to this company, get acquainted with their products. Here are Roman Mihailovich and Pavel Romanovich. They always inspected new firms themselves. Unlike you, they didn't trust anyone. Don't reproach me with my relatives now. What, what to do? Nothing. And resell. It won't work. No one will buy any condition from us. We need money. We cannot continue the construction of the complex. Yes, Marina. Dennis Romanovich, there's a call for you. They didn't introduce themselves, but they say it's very important. Connect it. All right. Hello, Dennis Romanovich. Yes, hello. I've heard a lot about your problems. I won't beat around the bush. I'll tell you right away. I can buy shares of your company. Who am I talking to? Is it that important? Or is it more important what I offer you? I can't answer right away. Well, I'm not rushing you. We will consider your offer. I'll call you back in a couple of days. Well?
Nothing. I'm really sorry. Show and mate. Thank God, at least I didn't have time to sell the apartment. Now there is a place to move. This is all because of your curses. Now it's my turn, too. All your problems are because of your stupidity, dear. Yes, it was you who cursed all the Alexeves. Calm down, you're not Alexeve. What are you talking about? Roman is not your father. Who is my father? Another person. What kind of person? All right. It's time for you to hear this little secret. Your own father left me as soon as I got pregnant. It happens. I had to get married as soon as possible. I couldn't lift you, she. So you didn't get married for love? What's the difference? What's the difference? You had a happy childhood. You had everything a child could dream of. After all, you grew up in a full-fledged family. Until Roman was blown away. And Pasha? Pasha Alexeev. His mother died in childbirth. When I married Roman, he was already two years old. But, you see, it didn't work out. I couldn't love him the way I loved you. He felt it. I've always been drawn to my father. Mom, why have you been silent all this time? And what would it change? Tell me. Okay, okay. Versus 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 everything. Come on, let's get going. It's time. So, more like this. Here. Listen, I already want to open up as soon as possible. I'm already tired of being out of work. And, Bisha, don't worry, it won't be long. Yes, Katie Yusha, by the way, have you found Boris? I found it, but he refused at the last moment. Well, put up a sign with an announcement. Well, all right. Yes, by the way, we also need a loader. Well, now I'll sort out the napkins and print a new ad. Vanya, we forgot to open the champagne. Forgot to open it, I forgot to buy it. But I am now, in a moment. Run. Katia, 
come here. The mall has already opened, but Vanya is still not there. I'll go after him, alright? I'll put this on. I see you need a loader. Well, actually, it wouldn't hurt Boris either. They say it takes a long time to study for Boris, but I already have experience as a loader. Well, never mind, I'll teach you. Are you still not here? I was standing in line, and take a good one. Champagne will definitely come in handy for you. I think one bottle won't do here. 